So, uh, good morning. Uh, today and tomorrow, uh, NATO's defense ministers will meet and address uh, a wide range of uh, pressing security issues. Among them is uh, the INF uh, Treaty. Russia continues to violate uh, the INF uh, Treaty by deploying a new intermediate range uh, nuclear capable uh, missiles, the SSC 8 missiles. These missiles are uh, uh, hard to detect, mobile, and can reach uh, European uh, cities. So this is something which is of a great uh, concern uh, for uh, all of us. Uh, we will continue to call on Russia to come back into compliance with the INF uh, Treaty. Uh, we will also uh, address burden sharing. And uh, uh, I welcome the fact that um, across Europe and Canada, uh, we see now uh, that uh, allies are stepping up, uh, investing more uh, in defence. Uh, European allies and Canada will have added uh, 41 uh, billion extra US dollars to their defence uh, spending um, uh, since uh, 2016, over the last uh, two years. And I expect this number to rise to uh, 100 uh, billion US dollars by the end of uh, next year. So we are making progress on burden sharing. Uh, we will also uh, uh, discuss uh, NATO uh, missions and operations in Afghanistan, uh, in Iraq and in Kosovo. And then I am really looking forward to welcoming uh, Defence Minister Radmila Sekerinska, uh, representing uh, North Macedonia, the Republic of North Macedonia, uh, participating here as an invitee to the NATO Defence Ministerial meeting uh, for the first time. We will also address many other issues, but it's uh, are at least the uh, key uh, issues that we uh, that will be addressed at the meeting. President Trump says, "Will you be meeting the Russian Foreign Minister in Munich this week to discuss the INF Treaty?" Yes, I expect to meet uh, uh, Minister Lavrov in Munich, uh, and I think it is important to have a dialogue with uh, Russia, especially when we face so many uh, difficult issues as we face uh, today. Uh, with increased tensions, uh, with uh, 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 the violation of the INF uh, uh, Treaty. Uh, and therefore, uh, I uh, strongly believe in uh, the importance of having a dialogue with Russia at different levels, uh, with Minister Lavrov, but also in the NATO-Russia Council. We recently had a meeting in the NATO-Russia Council where uh, the INF Treaty, the violation of the INF Treaty, was one of the uh, main topics. So, this is part of an ongoing dialogue with Russia, uh, which is uh, 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 important, especially when times are difficult as they are now. Um, on, IM on INF, uh, <coughs> you repeatedly said that there are no NATO plans to deploy um, um, nuclear uh, intermediate range missiles uh, in Europe. What are the options then? Our main focus now is to preserve the treaty. Uh, and there is a window of opportunity for Russia to come back in, into compliance uh, because the withdrawal process uh, will not be finished uh, uh, until uh, August. So there is a six month uh, uh, window uh, to, for Russia to come back into compliance and we continue to urge Russia uh, to come back into compliance with the uh, uh, treaty. At the same time, we are uh, uh, planning for the future without the INF Treaty and with more Russian uh, missiles. Uh, I will not preempt the outcome of uh, this uh, uh, analysis or work at NATO, uh, because this is very serious. We will take our time. Uh, what I can say is that uh, our response will be united. NATO allies will act together. It will be measured and it will be defensive because we don't want a new arms race uh, and we don't have any attention to uh, deploy new uh, nuclear uh, land-based uh, uh, weapon systems in uh, Europe. Then of course we have a wide range of other options, uh, conventional and other options, uh, but I will not speculate about them now uh, because if I start to speculate about uh, different options I would just add to the uncertainty uh, um, uh, comment on uh, uh, different options is uh, just too early before we have uh, concluded. So we will address this at the meeting today. Uh, we will uh, uh, continue to maintain the unity of the alliance. 
we, we have been very united on the INF issue over many, many years. Also dating back to the 70s when we had a dual track decision uh, in 87 when all NATO allies supported the INF treaty banning all the INF uh, weapons, all the intermediate range weapons. And we have also been united ever since the Obama administration for almost six years ago raised their concerns uh, about the Russian violation of the treaty. And we were united in December uh, uh, last year, where all allies agreed, uh, based also on independently um, uh, also collected uh, intelligence, uh, that Russia is in violation of the treaty. And we agreed and were united uh, uh, in the beginning of February, when the US announced that they would start the withdrawal process uh, uh, unless uh, uh, Russia comes back into uh, compliance. <clears throat> NATO's military presence in Afghanistan um, uh, is about providing, creating the conditions for a political, peaceful uh, solution. Uh, the aim is, of course, not to be in Afghanistan forever. The aim is to be in Afghanistan to fight terrorism and to train, uh, assist and advise the Afghan uh, National Army Security Forces so they can uh, stabilize their own uh, country. Um, no decision has been taken uh, about any withdrawal, uh, but we strongly support uh, the uh, efforts to reach a political, uh, peaceful uh, uh, settlement. And therefore, we uh, are in close contact with the US Special Envoy, Ambassador Khalisad. He has briefed NATO allies three times over the last uh, weeks uh, on the efforts to try to reach an agreement uh, with uh, Taliban. Uh, I would also like to commend uh, President Ghani for his leadership and the initiative uh, he, he took last year uh, uh, with the ceasefire and uh, the peace process he initiated uh, last year. It is important that uh, 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 this, we, we have as part of the peace, peace process uh, an Afghan reconciliation process and of course the Afghan government has to be part of uh, that. NATO allies uh, went in together in Afghanistan. We will make decisions on our future uh, posture in Afghanistan together, uh, based uh, on uh, conditions determined together with uh, the Afghans. So uh, we support the peace efforts, um, uh, uh, and uh, we will, of course, uh, do whatever we can to uh, fully support the implementation of a peace deal if that is reached. In response to your statements uh, yesterday that uh, Kosovo security forces cannot go up to north without the permission of K4, Prime Minister Haradinaj said that there is no such thing and as north or south Kosovo, then the security forces can go wherever they like. What's your response? Well, we have an agreement, a Brussels agreement uh, 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 from 2013, uh, stating clearly that uh, the Kosovo security forces cannot go north uh, without the concurrence of uh, the commander of uh, K4, uh, Com K4. And uh, 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 we expect that that uh, agreement uh, is still uh, valid, uh, still applies. Uh, and this is also something which is uh, uh, stated clearly from many allies. Uh, and uh, and uh, I have also expressed that to uh, uh, Mr. Haradinaj. Uh, that we uh, still expect that that's the case. Uh, NATO will remain in Kosovo with K4 uh, because K4 is based on a UN mandate and the K4 uh, presence, the presence of, of K4 uh, is and has been important for stability in Kosovo and in the whole uh, region. What we are assessing is uh, our presence, our activities outside the K4 mission uh, we have different kinds of capacity building, uh, support uh, to the Kosovo security forces, which is not part of K the K4 mission, but it's NATO activities outside that. Uh, and we will address uh, the level of this engagement uh, based on the fact that uh, uh, many allies uh, believe that the decision to transform the Kosovo security force into a Kosovo army was ill-timed and, uh, and, uh, and therefore uh, uh, we need to uh, address the level of our engagement. Thank you. Thank you so much.